What's going on dudes? It is Colossalis here. Welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. First of all, before we get into any of the content, I would like to thank all of you guys who came over to my channel, who checked my videos out. Um, I mean, I, came, I went over to Twitter, kind of expressed kind of a, a general opinion that there is about the auto attack false dead, which I did prove wrong. I did, I did prove wrong. Linked in there, a lot of people came in, a lot of people loved the video, so... Thanks so much. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for all the support you guys give me. The only thing I'm really asking for right now, comments. Please comment down down below what you guys think about the video, the hero I'm playing, anything you guys like. By the way, also, shout out to my, one of my subscribers. He actually told me not to mention his name. I don't know, shy or just doesn't want to get noticed. Uh, super fucking awesome shirt. And that, this this actually this shirt with Chen, my favorite, my favorite character in the game, has given me an idea. We can be called an, a panda army. <laughs> I, I, I could be, you know, I could be like a, like Chen or someone. And you, and you, you guys could be like panda warriors and panda healers, whatever you guys want to you want to know. Like whenever we want, we can be really aggressive and really like on you, know, like like really mean pandas, uh, like kind of a humanoid, you know, kind of pandas. That's what I kind of mean, like Lily and, and Chen kind of thing. But when you know, when when it's time to actually chill and be cute, we can also be cute. I don't know, you know, <laughs> I don't know what you guys think about that, but I, I kind of feel like it's a, like it's a cool idea. So for now, I'm just gonna kill you. I'm just gonna call you guys, all you guys, to be my panda homies. <laughs> my like, you know, we, you are the pan, you, you are all a part of our all, our own panda army. Uh, so thank you for being a part of my life, and I'm I kind of I just I just can't express how grateful I am. Anyway, today we'll be playing Arthas Manifel again. I, honestly, this is a, this is a, I think sixth time I'm trying to record this video just because I'm getting into queue with people who don't know how to play, who complain. I, I don't want to really post a game like that, but whatever the outcome of this game is going to be, I'm going to post it. Uh, so, so today we'll be uh, exploring um, a little bit of Arthas, kind of a kind of a more of a bruiser build. What I what I actually want. Uh, what I theory crafted to be a bruiser build for for Arthas. Uh, this is going to be re revolving around his basic attacks and his traits. So without further talking, let's get into this, shall we? Frostborn hungers. All right, Tracer, turn off your microwave, let your computer run, and then you can turn it back on. All right, boys and girls, we find ourselves on the Black Hearts Bay today. I do play this map way too often. I gotta tell you guys, I do play this map way too often. Level one, we're gonna go be we gonna be going for Eternal Hunger, even though the enemy team has a little bit of basic attacks. Thrall, Zagara, Arthas. Um, I'm, I still want to show this. Off. I, I thought this is gonna be a good idea. What do you guys think? Out of ten, leave me down in the comments below. I gotta know. Um, I will give it a an eight. I'll give him an eight. Uh, Tracer's gonna be selling bat. Always he should be roaming up with us. Anyway, uh, if you guys haven't seen my latest video, Arthas's trait is called Frostmourne Hungers. What it does is, whenever you activate it, your next basic attack will come out immediately, dealing 100% more damage and returning 30 mana. Uh, your key ability is a very, uh, very interesting ability. I'm gonna walk in like it's nobody's business. Attack everybody to his to them to their motherfucking faces. Slow down this Arthas. He's he should be dead. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. I was just using my E ability to, to the best of its ability. And yeah. Kind of a little overextending right there. There's a root. Nope, 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 nope. Gonna get my stacks up here, bro. Anyway, yeah. So our our Q ability, our death call, is what is called. Um, it's a very interesting ability. That's, that's what I actually said in my last video too. So I'm not gonna repeat my, myself. But what, what I can do is actually I can. Uh, there's a double root, and that's probably gonna be a double kill as well. So I can uh, cast it on somebody to deal damage, or I can cast it on myself to heal myself for a little bit. Uh, very very useful ability. Uh, on a double ability is what I used there to um, to kind of root uh, root our, our our enemies there. Try to get a cheeky, a cheeky hit right there, but it's not gonna work. On my way bottom to clear out this creep, I'm actually very good against the guard just because I can just almost for free clear out her creep. 
Uh, oh, yeah, she's, she's going to see me coming. She's going to see me coming. I'm going to fail on that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear out her creep. Uh, come in here, do that the same. There's some of her creep, and there's one more right there, same here, yep. Um, yeah, so our W ability is a little radius that's going to deal damage, I don't know why we're fighting, uh, deal damage and, uh, root, and root enemies. Uh, okay, we turned in. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is happening, apparently. Um, this level range, we're gonna go for Biting Cold. And yeah, I'll explain all of it kind of like in the later game a little bit, you know, uh, how all, all this comes together. Uh, I really wanna make this, uh, make this my, uh, my, my mission to make her life miserable. I just wanna get a hit. That's it. <laughs> I just wanna get my, uh, my level one, my level one challenge which I'm gonna explain in a second as well. Um, right, yeah, so it's going to uh, deal some damage uh, in this, um, you, you can see, I'm actually using um, Quick Cast on right now, so this is the first time I'm actually doing so, um, so you, if, if I suck, you guys you guys gotta, you know, you guys gotta kind of uh, forgive me a little bit, okay, I apologize up front. Um, yeah, so it's this little radius and this big ass radius uh, is going to root people in that radius and deal some damage. Our E ability is called Frozen Tempest. I can activate it uh, to do like a burning rage, a kind of a better burning rage damage and also the longer people stay in this, they will be slowed for more, up to 30%. That's all you have to know. On level 1, we went for Eternal Hunger, which is a questing talent. What it's going to do is when I hit an enemy hero with my uh, D, it's going to increase. Increase the amount of mana uh, I get back by 40, up to, uh, sorry, by 4, up to 40. So, you know, it gives you 10 stacks. And when we reach those 10 stacks, we are going to be... Uh, Honestly, we will be actually <clears throat> getting a nice increase in damage. It's going to be 25% more damage from our D. That just sounds wrong. I'm sorry. It's just like whenever I say that, I'm just uh, like, oh, this is out of out of ammunition. I'm gonna get this creep, and I'm gonna start searing this. <clears throat> uh, on level seven, we're gonna go for rune tap, just because um, with our D, like with you know with uh, a short, a shorter cooldown, like. Our trait is still an auto attack, therefore, like we will be, uh, we will be still auto attacking, really at attacking much faster. Uh, it is a thirty. Uh, it is every th every third basic attack. We are going to be. Um, we are going to be. Um, what's the name? Basically, recovering about three percent of our maximum health. You know, so it doesn't matter what damage you do or anything like that. It's all about your maximum health. Uh, they are friendly team. Honestly, I'm doing the best job I can being right here soaking XP and really pushing this, this lane as far as I possibly can. I'm not getting my stacks this way, so I, I will kind of move back into um... Right, so what, what I'll try to do. I mean, they are level two levels now, so what, what I mean, what he can do, right? I'm gonna try to kill him. Thank you for the stack. <laughs> oh God, this is just so funny. Uh, I'm gonna make my way up here to try to contest this. Uh, honestly, I'm not that bad at taking these, but as I'm, you know, I'm doing a, a single hit with my uh, trait and no, uh, not with my trait, but with my basic attacks, and then some with my with my frost tempest, frozen tempest. And they're gonna know that I'm turning this in. Oh shit! I'm actually in trouble. Gonna root behind me, and I will be getting a, a little bit of movement speed from our friendly team, and we'll be able to make it out of there alive. Awesome! I'll try to not be monotonous. As some people were, were saying that, and I, I really understand what what you guys are saying. Like sometimes I just fall into this one tone, <laughs> just speaking speaking kind of the same way over the the course of the entire game. I'll try not to do that th this time. Um. This happens especially when, when I'm tired. Like, when I'm tired, do. <laughs> oh man, okay. It is a guy resist. A little bit out of position. I'm gonna actually root here, activate my... Activate everything that I have to deal with damage that I can. I'm just standing, I'm just standing, I'm just standing, I'm just standing. Yeah, there's a kill! And honestly, this should be another one. You. Honestly, I don't know why we won that team fight. <laughs> We're just gonna steal there, pressing our E. Friendly uh, enemy Nova in a lot of uh, trouble. She's gonna be taken out of the fight. Very good job! Very good job. Let's do it. Yeah, man. Let's let's, let's shoot the, the shadow of the friendly team. 
Honestly, I am really wanting to get rid of the creep. The enemy is like, God, I did go for the area increase on those. This is just super weird. Anyway, I'm going to use my uh, Q here to get some health back. And I'm going to uh, actually notify my team that I want to do this. I don't have any coins, therefore like, I won't be any use there. Um, the uh, friendly team doesn't want to help me, therefore I'm going to use this as not damaging. But instead, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my Q as fully healing here to sustain through this camp, and I should be able to do so. There we go. Our rune tap and our Q ability were enough to sustain me through. So you can see we're not the you're not the worst at jungling. Pretty damn, pretty damn good, guys. Pretty damn good. Uh, should I go Sinfragosa? I am the solo tank. Right, let's go Army of the Dead. This is just going to give me some more survivability. What Army of the Dead does, it is going to spawn, spawn some ghouls that, you know, kind of like, kind of act like just normal creeps, but you can also uh, reactivate your um, you reactivate your, your ultimate um, in order to heal surf a little bit. So you're going to kill... So when you reactivate it, you can, you can basically sacrifice a ghoul to just get some health back. Uh, the enemy team is pushing hard. If I can get to her, okay, I won't be able to get to her. Oh shit! Okay, I'm gonna activate my my trait right here. Uh, not my trait, but my uh, my ultimate right here. Just you can you can see that I'm I'm in shit. I'm just you know, I'm healing for a shit ton. Uh, whenever I, I sacrifice one of these guys again, I'm just gonna sacrifice them all before they run out of time, just to get them, you know the most out of them. Do I fucking hate Zagar? Like, I mean, I love playing her. Uh, she used to be my main like a really long time ago, uh, but she's so annoying to play against. Like, you know, her creep. Like, if the if the enemy player is good at spreading creep, you're in for a very very rough time. Uh, I'm gonna come in here and destroy this one too. Is there any more? I'm just gonna get this vision. <clears throat> Yeah, um, so in the, in the last video, I didn't actually explain 100% what uh, what it takes to play Arthas. I mean, you can you know you, you can jump into him almost all the time. Let's back it up because there there will be ganking probably. Uh, we should definitely help uh, down in the bottom lane. They are the enemy team is a little bit out of position, and especially this Nova. Okay, I won't be able to get her. Uh, I am using again um, quick cast on there. Oh, okay, I mean if you want to just walk in here. Thank you! That was actually good! <laughs> Thank you! Help me so much there! Oh, I'll, I will be taken up probably here. No, I won't. Okay. Uh, it was a good, a good pump. Uh, keeping kind of, you know, keeping the damage uh, basically out of here, you know, just a little bit. I'm uh, gonna use my Q to heal myself. Honestly, I'm just gonna come in here. Um, who can I root here? Who can I root? I'm, I'm just trying to root somebody in order to do some damage. Right, uh, I should probably go back to get some mana. Or actually, what I can do this. Where's the enemy team? I'm honestly trying to get level 13 before we move into anything, or before we move into any fight. That's why I'm. That's why I'm. That's why I'm standing right here. Um, and if we do get level 13 as level range. We're gonna go for uh, frost strike. Uh, basically, reducing the cooldown of our trait. Ah, uh, this is risky. Like going going from behind is very risky. Coming from me, that's what she said. <laughs> I was really bad. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to root these guys in place. Activating my ultimate right here. I'm gonna get mod. Uh, my, you know, my goals are doing like some some work right here. And I'm gonna try to just reactivate right here to um, to just to uh, honestly just heal, just heal through the damage that I'm taking. I'm actually taking quite a lot of damage. This throw is gonna get rooted and it's gonna be killed again. Reactivating to get some uh, some health back, and we will come out on top of this fight. Um, he is still in here. Uh, he's taking a lot of damage. Oh shit! Okay, I'm outy. I'm outy. I'm outy. Three thousand, boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a hit on you, and then hit, stun, and then reach you in place, and I'll be out here, right? Ugh, oh my god! I just, I just, oh, I dodged a snipe. No! Don't you dare kill me! No! Get those coins. Get those coins, baby girl. Yeah. Okay, she got the coins. <laughs> the fuck, mate. 
I, I'm in a good mood. It is quite late right now, so uh, I'm trying no. I'm trying my hardest, um, honestly, to um, to not get monotonous and, and and just make this as fun as possible, as I always do. Uh, we were winning this, but some somehow we just started dick trickle. Let's group. How about that for a start? You know, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing this is actually going to help us a lot. Uh, let's group up and not dick trickle into the enemy team. This, the enemy team is not doing that right at this moment, so we can definitely take this if the friendly team wants to. It looks like they're all in. That actually, uh, Arthas is split away from the from the from the, from the enemy team. So what I'm going to do is just going to stand in here, and if they decide to come in here, I'm just going to root, and we should get a nice pick. Nobody decides to do so, therefore we're just going to move out of the way. Uh, I'm not sure. Would you guys want to fight? I don't. I don't think fighting is a good idea. Um, let's move. Let's move back here. If the friendly team wants to just turn in. We can definitely do that. Uh, friendly uh, tracer is doing so. I'm going to come in here and just try to destroy this creep. While while I'm busy clearing up creep, the friendly team is looks like she they, they just wants to like they they want to engage real bad. Um, so there's my first more hunger. I'm gonna activate my my ultimate here, just trying to heal through the damage. I wasn't able, so you can see if uh, you know uh, there's enough burst damage coming out you know on myself i, I know even my goals won't be able to help me friendly team is doing the best they can at this moment to fight the enemy team oh oh my god that was just a huge more catching three members of our friendly team as uh, tech is going to be taken down everybody's just going down right now honestly might have been a little bit of my fault maybe just going a little bit too far i mean they were in level 16 when we were fighting therefore you know uh, we couldn't really predict is this Nova? Yeah, that's, that was Nova right there. <clears throat> I just kind of like I just had to kind of like strain myself to um to actually see what was going on there. I, I saw I saw the glimmer from Nova, but yeah. Uh, I don't know what's what should be like the thing that we should be doing here. Um, so we do have my our our Frostmore Hunger's trait like kind of upgrade now. A tracer does get taken out. I don't know where. I don't know how. But she did. Uh, they have 25 cons in them, so we probably won't be stopping the turn at any point at this moment. Honestly, we're doing a pretty um, bad, pretty risky, um, pretty risky. Like we we're taking a pretty risky route right there, just because we were going through going through the turn in. Uh, Tychus again splitting away from the friendly team, not uh, not really sticking with the team. Uh, honestly, it should be me who should if she's taking the coins. But although, uh, let's do this. <coughs> let's do this. Let's not waste our time. I mean, we can't stop the bombardment when it's actually going. So let's just get some camps instead. You know, not not really waste our time in, in any case. <clears throat> so the reason why I went for damage increase instead of the mana reduction on level four on our E uh, is just because I'm not gonna have any. Um... There's a kill. I'm gonna activate my, my ultimate right here. But again, I will be just straight away, basically just bursted down by the friendly, by the enemy team. Honestly, Tychus needs some help, and th these guys are not responding at all. I just wanted this game to be better than every single one, other than I had before, but it's just not happening. The, the Charism and Tracer just want, and Tracer can do so much against against this uh, this Arthas so like when when he is you know she can stay far enough you know so uh, so she's not taking damage from the Frozen Tempest and she can stay um, um, close enough to actually deal damage with her basic attacks. But looks like she's just way too scared. Now she's gonna get rooted. Honestly, I, I don't think she's too skilled as well, so that might be an issue as well. Uh, if we get a pick up here, it would be really, really good. We are, we are on the same. Okay, I am just like out of position again. I'm gonna go this way. Thank you. Right, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna out here. Um, Tracer is gonna be taken out again. So I really do believe. 
That tracer is not the most skilled tracer in the world. Uh, they saw that we weren't there to help them at all. Another missed root. It's not going to connect. He's actually going way too far for this. Anyway, what we picked up on level 16 is basically that we we are going to get uh, uh, basically instead of just one basic attack and, and power, we're going to get two basic two next basic attacks and powered. Uh, we should be focusing on clearing this creep because it's just way too much. Like it's giving them like vision that they need to turn fights in their favor. They're going to be coming from the top lane. Uh, Nova is somewhere in the in that general area. Uh, again, what I'm going to do. Just try to clear as much creep as possible and really be careful from the ganks from the, from the enemy team. Uh, they are nearly level 20, therefore, um, I mean, we really have a small, uh, like, small, like, slot of time where we can actually do something about their lead. Uh, maybe right here. I'm gonna activate a preemptively. I'm just gonna activate preemptively, and I'll be just stuck in the ultimate from the enemy Karazim. Enemy Karazim going for a 7th straight strike, a very, very situational. Um, ultimate, if uh, if if I say if I say so myself, um, it just worked this time. I mean, we only have one tank, so you know that enemy Karazim is not the more skilled player in the world. You know, just because his his um, his decision making is really really bad. But again, it works in this in this, in this scenario just because you know I, I I was caught out of position. Anyway, we're not gonna bitch about it. Uh, we're gonna do we're gonna, we're gonna get most out of it. You know what I mean? So we should we should definitely make him pay, make him actually regret that he didn't take the seven the not the seven side strike but the palm instead. The it's the divine palm. Yeah, that's what it is. Divine palm. I think so. Is it called divine palm? It doesn't. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think it is divine palm. But anyway. <laughs> I'm just blanking out. By the way, I do have cars in Master, therefore I know what I'm talking about, but I just forgot the name of the ability. Uh, the friendly Karazim is going to be taken out of the fight. He just went into 1v5 against level 20. Never a good thing. Uh, I'm going to root this, uh, this guy in place. Uh, this is not the real Nova. Li Ming is going to be caught out of position. I'm going to come in here and try to slow them down. But I'm going to be caught again in the 7-sided strike. I'm going to actually do this. Hopefully this is going to secure my living. There we go, there's my... Uh... No, enough. The precision strike. Very good precision strike from the enemy Nova. I'm gonna give it that to her. It was, it was a very good precision strike. Honestly. Um, I think I was actually slowed down that there was no way of actually getting out of it. I mean, either way, like, if I went back, I would have went back into the, into the enemy team. If I went this way, I would have went back into the enemy team. If I went this way, uh, I mean, I was f don't, I wasn't far enough, and you, you saw what, what happened when I was going, to, when I was heading towards my core. It looks like the enemy team just wants to finish this, and honestly, they could, but it looks like they, they're just gonna want to give us another chance of coming back right here, I guess. Or I'd actually, they actually might be waiting for the for the minions to come in. Leaming Gizzle. Is going to do quite a lot of damage to this Karazim. Oh, yeah, you can see this guy is fucking skilled as shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we might actually turn this around. Like, if we get a pick here, which we, which we definitely can. Uh, we just made him pay for not picking up that, that Divine Palm. Uh, because we, he definitely could have saved uh, the enemy Arthas uh, there from uh, an imminent death. Now, Thrall is coming in. And honestly, I am getting kind of bursted down again, therefore... Oh, nice palm! Nice palm! Yeah, we can definitely turn this around now. Um, they are running away. Um, gonna try to root the enemy Zagara, not gonna be successful in doing so. Uh, some of my healing is actually coming back again. I mean, I didn't have a chance against the enemy uh, Nova, but nobody from my team wanted to focus her. And honestly, that's what, what should have been our first. You know, not actually extending for a kill because we didn't get any, but really just protecting our backline. You know, I mean, protecting ourselves as a group, kind of. Um, that's what they did. You know, they tried to split us up. They did so, and I was taken out. Uh, right, we don't. We don't. We're not gonna. Uh, be mad about we're gonna go for deaths advance odd on level 20 
Honestly, the best choice w here would be to go anti-magic show just because the enemy team has a Nova, they have a Thrall. Uh, all of those guys have ability damage, especially when it also comes to Karazim. You know, to really counter that um, seven-sided strike. But again, I really want to show off this build. Even if we lose, I still want to show off this build just because I've been trying so hard to uh, to show it off and just, uh, just the enemy team. Again, a Tracer not collapsing on the enemy team. She, I think she will be taken out if she doesn't have a recall. On my way to the to them because they're just overextending her and error. Activate my Death's Advance right here. Uh, activate my ultimate and uh, what I'll be doing is just trying to reactivate everything that I have to keep myself alive. Honestly, I, th I hope it's gonna be enough. So it was enough to, to keep myself alive, but uh, it wasn't enough to secure any kills or anything like that. I'm gonna come in here destroy the creep. If there's any a friendly treasure, it's gonna be taken out again. Honestly, like she was, she's, she's really the reason. There's the group. It's a four v five again. Like we should just, we shouldn't be doing, we should be doing this. We should be, we shouldn't be even going for this. I mean, the enemy team is gonna get turned. It's, it's for me going GG. She just defend bottom. They're almost the same talent here, and honestly, like if we would group up and we would get a pick, we can definitely turn this game around. Um, and it's, honestly, when we take them out right now, the the, the only play would have been to just push middle. Uh, not yeah, just push middle, destroy the, the destroy the fort. That's the mark, Nova. No. Fucking bitch! So I almost killed Nova. That would have been my life complete, right? <laughs> Never, not ever do that, guys. I mean, the, no, the the game is already lost. Therefore, you know, I didn't really. I saw her. I was like, okay, okay, baby, let's dance. The enemy team did just come in time to save her, especially Karazim with that clutch heal. I mean, if he didn't heal her, like my E. When I was gone into the mall, would have killed her. But it's going to be a good game, I think. Yeah, the, enemy, the enemy team is pushing in to win this game. Honestly, they don't have enough balls to do so, but... I mean, they, they, they definitely have enough pushing power, but looks like they, yeah, as I'm saying, they don't have enough balls. Uh, the Divine Palm is going to connect on the friendly Karazim. Tracer gets taken out again. Uh, she has died eight, seven times. Same, same, actually, same as me. Um, but just just because I was going, to, you know, I was going into the middle of the enemy team, trying to actually make something happen. Again, some of those deaths were necessary. Some of those, you know, were completely hundred percent necessary. So we were winning at, in the early game, but we didn't stay as a team in the late game. Not the best, um, like showcase of I, I'm, I'm guessing the the build, but I just had I, I'm just tired. I'm just tired of going into games and just. This is basically what happened to me over the six games I tried to record. I tried to record this thing six times. This is my seventh time recording this, or sixth. I'm not, I don't. I don't remember now. I'm just tired. So this is it. <laughs> this is the build. I'm not going to quick match with Arthas anymore, just because um, I don't know. Just a quick match. Just, 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 just a matchmaking man. I don't know what it is. Anyway. We're gonna go over the build again. If you guys want to try, try it out, go ahead. It's super fucking awesome. It's, it works. I promise you guys, it works. It's just you need team. You you, you basically need a second tank um, to really accommodate for you going the damage, um, the, dam the damage build and stuff. <sighs> right. So on level one, you go Eternal Hunger. Uh, every single hit on the enemy hero will increase your um, mana regeneration from your trait permanently by four up to forty, so ten stacks. Once you get those ten stacks, you will. Be getting a twenty-five percent uh, uh, boost, <laughs> boost to your damage on you from your uh, basic attack from D. On level four, you want to go for Biting Cold. This will go, this is going to again increase damage. Going for a Bruiser build again, uh, increase the damage from your Frozen Tempest by thirty percent. Kind of you know making it uh, actually some uh, you know some really acceptable damage. Level seven, we went for a Rune Tap basically because we are we are. Doing more and more uh, more basic attacks with our trait as well. Therefore, we we will be doing more, more stuff. We, we will be we will be auto attacking much quicker just because we have the instant auto attack from our D. That's what I wanted to say. 
I still feel Immorco might be the better choice, but it's still something you, you want to test out. I, I, I uh, personally went for Runetap just because I have kind of a history with, with this character. Uh, it's somewhere deep down in my heart, I really, I really like to use it. Therefore, you know, it used to be the number one choice for him. Well, then I went for Army of the Dead just because just because we I was the only in solo tank, so I had to do something to accommodate for my selfishness going for the damage build. Um, again, it's going to summon ghouls and I can sacrifice them to give myself some health back. Level 13 went for Frost Strike, uh, giving us, uh, reducing the cooldown on our, on our trait and giving us a slow 40% for 1.5 seconds after hitting somebody. Level 16 we went for Frostmore Feeds, uh, the increase, the, increases the amount of basic attacks empowered by Frostmore Hungers to 2. And level 21 for Depths Advance, where you want to keep up, you know, you want to slow down your enemies with your E and also keep up with them with your Depths Advance. Uh, what this does, it's going to possibly give you 10% movement speed and also is also going to give you, you can or you can reactivate, you can, you can activate your 1 or whatever uh, abil whatever ability key is going to be on. Uh, you can reactivate it to give yourself some, um, some more, even, you know, some even more uh, movement speed up to 30%. So this has been Bruiser, Ar Bruiser Arthas. I'm not really happy with the, with the, how the game played out, but I'm just going to leave it in just because I just tried it so many times and I'm, I'm done with trying <laughs> with Arthas. It's not that he's bad, it's just you know, the matchmaking that's been really bad for me lately. Anyway, I'm really out of ideas what, ca what I can do. Uh, I kind of came up with Gazlo today. Uh, we can definitely make a couple of videos with Gazlo. Uh, I'm, I can go over the TNT build and you know the just kind of a, the overall the the best build that's circling around at the moment. So be stay like, stay tuned for that. Uh, also gonna make a Brightwing video just because I'll be mastering her, um, and and I really want to capture that you know and share it with you guys when I'll be buying the master skin. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like rating. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then become you know become the, become the member of Panda Army. <laughs> proud, proud panda, panda army. And without further talk, I'm gonna let you guys go. So, peace on the motherfucking streets. Bye!